Okay, don't know about you, but I can safely say that my favorite meal of the day, maybe yours as well, is breakfast because the meal possibilities are absolutely endless. That's right. You have one favorite meal of the day? <laughs> I'm not buying that. <laughs> yeah, we have a different take on a breakfast staple. That is exactly what Jimmy is going to love in our Delmarva Life Kitchen and joining us to help us do that is owner and chef of Turnbridge Point B&B in Denton and contestant on the Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship, Chef that? Steve Konopelski. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Well, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And I would like to point out that I was actually a finalist Ooh. on Holiday Baking Championship. All right. So, Good uh, job. Yeah. Okay, it's, so what are we making? Well, we're making pan perdu, which is uh, the French version of uh, French toast, essentially. Okay. Um, it means lost bread. And so the way the French developed to take, like, stale, day-old bread is we turn it into French toast. So now everyone calls it French toast. Um, but we like to call it pan perdu. I always find that if you call it by the fancy French, French name, then it actually sounds better than uh, it, it is. Um, but it's delicious. So what are ingredients do we need? Uh, we're actually going to use croissants for this, but you could okay. use any hearty bread. You could use a challah, you could use uh, like a brioche or something mm -hmm. like that. You can use croissants as well. And at Turnbridge Point, we make everything from scratch. So uh, I've got some lovely croissant loaf here. Okay. Um, and so we're just going to cut that up, then we're going to make a very simple custard. Okay. It's essentially heavy cream, uh, actually half and half, sorry, egg and a little bit of maple syrup. That's it. And then we're going to toss it all together. You would let it sit overnight and then bake it off in the morning. Oh, really, okay. really easy. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Oh my. Super, even I super simple. Yes, even you could do it. Um, so I'm going to have you go ahead and uh, cut some bread for okay. me, please. It's like looking at Kilimanjaro here. You know, it's just, oh my gosh. Um, Welcome to my world. <laughs> exactly. you're, moving on. Moving on. Up there. Moving on. Okay, so you're going to cut some bread. I've already done that. And we're going to make a simple little strawberry salad to okay. go on top of it. At Turnbridge, uh, we always offer this with maple syrup, but to be honest, no one has ever used it because the fresh fruit is just wonderful. Oh, okay. So okay. have you caught up some strawberries? Okay. Okay. We've got the bread cutting, and I'm going to make this little custard. Like I said, super, super simple. It's a cup and a half of um, uh, half and half, two eggs, and we're just going to kind of whisk that up together. Mm -hmm. Really, really easy. Wow. Do you mind if I eat the slice of this bread? No, oh. please, go for oh, okay. it. Um, <laughs> you know, I baked it off uh, just last night for you guys. Oh, you oh, are So it's man. nice and fresh. Uh, this goodness. is about a tablespoon of maple syrup. Use a really good quality maple syrup. Right. Um, you know, some simple good ingredients are going to make things a lot better than cheaper ingredients. Right. You know, we're only putting like three ingredients in here. Pinch of salt, and that's it. And that's it. That's simple. It. I love simple, it. Simple, simple, simple. Now, also with this recipe, you could add some ground up sausage, a ground up sausage, you know, mm. some um, cheese if you wanted to, and make it a little bit more in a savory situation. Now you're talking about it. Um, <laughs> you're talking Chinese so language. Yep. That's it. We uh, would just toss this in this custard, put it in a resealable container, stick it in the refrigerator overnight, about eight hours at least, okay? okay? And then in the morning, uh, you can bake it off. And what we do is, uh, I've got like a jumbo muffin tin here, mm -hmm. right? and I've buttered it, and then I've sprinkled it with sugar, so the stuff oh, will release. Okay. Then you're just going to, you know, take a nice big hunk of this, drop it into here, and um, sprinkle a little cinnamon sugar on the top. Put okay. it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. Okay, no, wait. Very, very easy. This is so simple. As you said, even I could do this. Yes. But can I, like, make it seem more complicated so I make somebody think, oh my goodness, you, you throw, did you all this? Yes, yes, yes. You yeah. throw the flour that's on okay. your face. <laughs> you come out, you know, um, the eggs dripping, whatever. Yes. Yeah. Um, Any other tips you have, I'd be more than happy to. <laughs> <laughs> Let it cool in the muffin tin for a couple of minutes before you unmold it. And the okay. sugar is helping to unmold it. You could also, if you wanted to do this family style, just put it in into a big casserole yeah. and kind of almost do it bread pudding style. I like Ooh. that. Okay, and so I got my for, strawberries for one here. extra recipe, oh. if you add just a little bit of extra heavy cream, this essentially is now bread pudding. Mm. Okay. okay. Right. So you've got breakfast and you've got uh, dessert. And I always say that breakfast er, is just first dessert. Yeah. <laughs> um, so okay. our strawberry salad. Uh, we've uh, cut up some strawberries. They're gorgeous. We're just going to dump them into this bowl here for okay. me, please. This salad also, very, very easy. Mm -hmm. You know, really, really super simple. Uh, you could do this with essentially any fresh berry or a nice mix of berries, you know, like blueberries, blackberries, uh, strawberries. Not so much raspberries because they break up really quickly. Okay. So you can oh. do a nice melange of um, a mix of okay. uh, berries. See, it sounds better when you say it in it French. Does. Melange. It? He knew he had um, me lost when he said melange. Okay. We're going to just do a couple good sprinklings of sugar here, if you don't mind my reach. Yeah. Just, you know, 
Yeah, well, good. I'm frankly. all that. Okay. Um, we want uh, a little bit of the good stuff. So this is Cointreau, but you okay. can use Grand Marnier as well. Um, right. Just a simple splash of that. Okay. Give that a good toss. Yeah, they don't let me toss salad in here. It <laughs> will end up on the end ceiling. Up everywhere, right? Yeah. Okay. Then um, we're adding a little bit of basil, and I don't know if you've seen this product in the store, but this is actually freeze-dried yes, um, herbs. Have, yeah. And I'm uh, sorry, I said basil, but it's actually mint. Okay. Um, so this is really great for the home chef who doesn't use a lot of fresh right. herbs because they're shelf stable and they will last, uh, you know, up to about a year in your pantry. Okay. Um, instead of buying a bunch of fresh mint and then you cut two pieces and the rest of it turns brown. Okay. I'm not going to um, hurry you along, but can we hurry up because I'm getting hungry? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a simple little um, orange oh, zest at the dress. end to finish that. Just get that in there. Right. And then you would let that sit for about five minutes so the juices naturally come out of the strawberries. Okay, and while you're getting the, the finished product prepared, I'll let everyone know that you can get this recipe by sending us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to WBOC.com and click on Delmarva Life or give us a call, 443-880-9116. Look at this. So when we're done, we kind of have something like this. And I get a little chefy, so we put a little bit of, you know, fresh mint on it, a little powdered sugar, whatever. Is it okay to eat this? It's <laughs> totally okay to eat that. I don't want to ruin that. Uh, I'm no, sorry. Please, I have uh, no problem. Okay. Jump on in. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm and, um, you know, croissants are not that hard to make. And actually, at Turnbridge Point, we do baking classes. And in the month of April, the third Thursday of April, our baking class is croissants. Ah. So if there's anybody out there that wants to learn how to make croissants, go to turnbridgepoint.com, and you can Ooh. click on classes and events, <laughs> and you'll learn how to make these. It's pretty <laughs> good, isn't it? Delicious. That's Thank right. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome. That Thank you delicious. for having me.